Hello, I'm Scott Gregg of ProfitablePlumbing.com uh, in the Tankless 101 article. Um, this is part two of our Tankless water heater uh, video series and I'm back in the Gregg compound mechanical room with my beautiful twin Renais behind me and this little segment I'm going to entitle Misconceptions, Myths and Outright Lies about tankless water heaters. These are things we hear all the time You'll see the posts on tankless websites and Facebook posts and things like that for people who have absolutely no clue what in the hell they're talking about. But they have an opinion anyway and they want to make sure everyone hears it even though they have no clue what they're talking about. So hopefully I'm going to dispel some of those myths uh, right now. One of the most common ones that I hear, tankless water heaters cost way too much. You'll never get a payback. Wrong, number one. Um, how about this for a thought? Maybe people aren't buying tankless water heaters for themselves because of the payback. Maybe it's because they have four or five kids, or even three kids that take a lot of long showers. Or maybe everyone's got to get ready for work at the same time and they're tired of running out of hot water. With a good tankless water heater like one of these Renais, you'll never run out of hot water. Again, ever. So saving money is not the only thing, the only factor involved in choosing a tankless water heater. There's many other benefits as well. Being able to set the water temperature to the exact temperature that you want the water to be at. So you don't have to heat water up just to cool it back down again. You can set the temperature you want. Uh, in my house, I have a remote at my bathtub. I can set the temperature of these heaters, which are located in my basement, from the tub, 104 degrees. Turn on the hot water, push the plug in, and get in my tub. The temperature is at the perfect, perfect temperature right away no mixing of cold water everything's great can't do that with the tank and when I'm finished filling up that tub I'm not out of hot water there are many other reasons space savings to do what's needed in this house I would need three large tanks instead of these two small basically not too much bigger than a computer unit tankless water heater so I have the space savings they're always off I don't have to worry about the tank busting and flooding the house when I'm at work because mine are off there's a lot of reasons to have a tankless other than savings. That said, you'll never get a payback. Depends on what you're replacing it with. If you have an El Cheapo tank atmospheric water heater, like I said in the first segment, you may not get a payback. And that is the truth. But if your tank is large, 75 gallons, 80 gallons or larger, there definitely is a substantial payback. You will get the difference back from a tankless water heater plus most likely pay for its replacement in a 20-year lifespan. You'll never get a payback. Well, if you have to spend, and I'm going to pick some numbers, $1,200 to have a tank replaced, and in 10 years you've got to spend that money again, assuming there's no price increase for 10 years, what's all that going to cost you? Or if you spent $3,000 on a tankless unit 10 years down the road, it's just getting warmed up. You have another 10 years to go. So what costs more money now? They're pretty close. And that's without factoring in any energy savings, any unlimited hot water, or anything else. All right, so cost way too much money, you'll never get a payback, bull. Need much more maintenance than a tank, and you have to flush them every year. I call BS. They don't have more maintenance than a tank. When you flush a tank, all tank manufacturers recommend that you flush them once a year, but nobody does it. So the bottom of the tank fills up with muck. Even the folks who do flush it that think they're getting the muck out, you're really not. What you're doing is, is drilling a hole through the muck to get the water out of the tank. It helps a little bit when the tank's young, but not so much over the life. Plus, if you do have a tank that happens to last more than the 10-year average, it's certainly not efficient because the tank's energy efficiency begins dropping the very day you install it. All right, can't be used with hot water. I'm sorry, can't be used with hard water on a well. This house is on a well. Six years I've had these tankless water heaters, no problems. And I've not flushed them even once. I want to see how long they'll go. I have hard water, awfully hard water, about 15 grains a gallon. But I haven't had to flush my heaters. This is a normal residential application. The Renai heaters will let you know if they need flushing. You don't have to flush them just because you feel like it. If you want to, it's probably not going to hurt them. But I typically recommend let the heaters tell you when they need to be flushed. Or if you know you have hard, hard water, maybe every couple years. Uh, but tankless water heaters do not need flushing every single year. 
All right, I hear people say they're only good for warm climates like Florida or Arizona or Texas, the warmer parts of Texas. Wrong. I'm in central Virginia. If I didn't have the shower that needed 16 gallons a minute when you turn everything on, I wouldn't need but one of these guys. A three and a half bath house can be served with a mid-sized Renai, mid-sized Noritz, mid-sized Navian, although I'm not a big Navian fan. The water heaters do a fine job. You're able to take three, four showers at a time year-round on these products, no problem. Now, I'm not talking about car wash shower systems or trash can lid rain heads up in the ceiling. Talk about your average bathroom with a tub shower unit or regular shower, two and a half GPM head, regular house pressures, that kind of thing, okay? They can easily handle a three or four bath house with one water heater. People say, just flat, they don't work. And they don't give you any other comments. They just say, those things don't work. Well, you can just discount them as complete knuckleheads with nothing better to do. They work wonderful. All right, another one that I hear from time to time is Consumer Reports says they're not worth it. That's going to be segment three. I'm not going to get into that with this one because Consumer Reports report was so incredibly flawed, it's going to take another segment to attack it. Because uh, I don't know who did that, but it turned into a hit piece, very unlike Consumer Reports. They should be ashamed of what they put out because their data, whatever data they used, was extremely flawed or inaccurate at best, and I'll prove it on segment three. For right now, this is Scott Gregg, ProfitablePlumbing.com. See my Tankless 101 article and learn everything you wanted to know about these wonderful heaters. And you should have one. If you have a house with a Tankless, especially a Renai, you'll never have another house without it.